Hey YouTube, um, I'm actually in my garage today. I wanted to do a quick video. Um, I have a 2015 M4 um, that is not on Turo. Um, it's my own personal car. Um, if you watch my other videos, you know that I have uh, the S5 and the Q7 uh, on Turo, but um, I have the 2015 M4. It roughly has probably about 39,000 miles on it, I believe, somewhere around there. But um, Currently in the process of starting to black it out a little bit, so I went ahead and I put together um, the BMW emblem. I got the carbon black, so it's uh, the black version of that for the BMW emblem. And now I'm getting ready to swap out the M4 um, logo emblem um, to black. I actually went to Mod Bargains. I saw a couple YouTube videos. Uh, sorry, I don't remember who the user was, or I'd give them a shout out, but um, I went to and saw them. Mod bargains. I've seen prices for them. I mean, in the range of twenty bucks, seventy bucks, a hundred bucks. Um, and this is really just a test for mod bargains. I wanted to kind of just find out what their products, quality of them, how long they'll last, and so forth. So, the M4 total uh, badge was with shipping about twenty three dollars. Took about six days to get here. It arrived today, so I'm getting ready to make that swap out. So I was going to do a really quick video. Um, Hopefully it shouldn't be that hard. I've done other, uh, removed other emblems before, so it's pretty simple. Um, you know, what I uh, really need is just a really simple heat, uh, a fishing line, um, and then some cleaner. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start to process this video. Okay, so here is um, kind of what I'm working on today. So the M4, lighting is really bad in here. Um, my garage so the lighting's not that great it's raining outside so I'm doing this inside today uh, so I'm going to replace the M4 badge uh, with the black uh, painted I went ahead and already updated the BMW it's uh, the carbon black um, version of that as well as same as the front and on the steering wheel uh, emblems have been updated uh, I have this white Punisher uh, that sticker, I believe I'm just gonna take off. Um, if it was black, maybe I'd keep it, but it doesn't really fit now with the model of uh, blacking out the, the back of this. Um, for you guys, uh, I don't really care if you guys see my uh, license plate, um, so I'm not gonna black that out. So kind of the supplies that I have today, very simple. Uh, heating gun, um, and then I have um, some of the trim removal tools. And this stuff is awesome. I usually use this in the interior of my car. Um, it is by Chemical Guys, uh, Nonsense, um, Super Cleaner, uh, pH Balance, Neutral. So I will spray this to, once I start moving some of the glue. Um, so I have a nice clean surface to make that seal. Uh, and then I might even go ahead um, and put on uh, this Punisher logo um, as instead of the uh, white um, non-matching. Uh, but I forgot about that as well. I went ahead and got a carbon fiber um, license plate holder. It's okay. Um, I don't have enough screws here to hold that down. It's pretty dinky. It's not high quality, but uh, it will get the job done. I think I paid like 20 bucks for that on Amazon. Uh, I know there's more uh, better ones out there, probably more a little bit more harder and a little bit more realistic for the carbon black. But for now, 20 bucks, this will do. Um, so that's on there in the back and the only thing I'm missing now that I'm looking around is throw that out of, is the fishing line so um, I'm gonna start the process and I will be back here shortly Uh, sure how much this you're going to be able to see um, before people start uh, commenting making fun of me uh, I actually ran out of painters tape and I'm just using black vinyl um, it's the same vinyl that I use to black out the chrome on my s5 but uh, did not feel like driving all the way to Home Depot to grab some painters tape uh, this will work sufficient I didn't lay it all the way hard down even though I am going to use heat on it which will then cause it to stick better but um, for the time being, this is kind of what I had. So um, just gotta heat it up real quick. And I'm 
gonna take my handy dandy fishing line. Start to pull that through if it doesn't break. So that's not a good sign, the fishing line broke. Um, I don't know how much fish I'm gonna catch with it. So this is cutting through pretty easily. Uh, now, I might have to add a little bit. A little bit more heat, but um, This gun will heat it up fairly quickly, so uh, let's see. I'm using actually double sided now, so just kind of getting through the. So that was pretty simple. for the four badge. I've already actually got half of it off. Now it's just really getting inside the last half. And just like that, guys, um, really simple. So I'm gonna heat up this tape a little bit more. And this guy's just, I mean, the heat gun, it's not mandatory, but it makes things that much easier. Um, you can see right now, it's pretty much falling off. Uh, I would probably suggest wearing gloves, but um, I didn't put them on. Um, now nah, actually, the gloves would probably melt, but it really should be this easy. So while you're working this piece, you might just want to heat up this piece over here. That one's pretty heated. Peel it back a little bit. If you guys ever use Classy Dip, um, once this glue is hot like this, it's very, very, very similar. So just kind of peel it back. Heat that up a little bit more. And you just kind of want to peel. Alright, so this is probably about, I would say probably about 95% uh, the glue is gone. I don't want to heat it up too much more uh, for the paint, sake of the paint. So barely, you can just barely see this kind of a faint outline now of the glue. So I'm gonna actually, I thought it would actually come off a little bit more than that. So if you guys probably all know about uh, Goo Gone, that stuff is awesome. This stuff, is probably some of the best stuff. So I'm just gonna apply some to my microfiber towel and just kind of roll it around a little bit. Very applying very little pressure. So I thought about not using the tape um, but at the same time, I want to make sure that I get perfect placement um, of the, when I reinstall the new badge. So, all right, so now this is where I'm going to come in with my Chemical Guys um, No Nonsense Super Cleaner pH Balance. So I'll use a part of the, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Throw that away. Um, so anyone doesn't give me a hard time about scratching my paint, which I probably will because I was rubbing a little bit abrasive, so I'll just put a little bit on here. Uh, these are chemical, uh, I think these are chemical guys microfiber towels too. Uh, these things are awesome. If you guys happen to use these, got to pick these up from Amazon. Um, 
So I'll just rub some of this on there. Like I said, this is just to make sure that it sticks properly. So, um, so my bargains, uh, this came in today, uh, via priority mail today, but it actually came, it took six days counting today, uh, 23 bucks guys. So not really sure if this is going to be, let's take a look. So just kind of thrown in the box but uh, it's just an emblem so you can see the painted M4 let's see it get the other you guys want to do a comparison so like I said I've seen these things go for um, so I can already tell there's a difference in size <laughs> no not really no perfect Perfect, okay. So um, you can see the difference, guys. Black, chrome. Um, mod bargains, I can put the uh, link in the below. So, bam, there it is. So let's see how, so far this has been fairly simple. Let's see if it continues. So very easy application, uh, pulls that off. Now you have access to, oh, this is super simple here. Uh, you have now access to the 3M tape. So it was just like a sticker, the way they put it on there. So the 3M tape is all ready to rock and roll. Nothing to peel off. It's pretty much going to be plug and play on this. So, I'll try to do the alignment just right, but should be super, super simple, so that's right where I want it. So, I'm not going to press, some people would have said, you know, leave it some slack, but that's exactly where I wanted it. Um, and then the M4, a little bit more difficult only because it's smaller, harder to grasp. And thank God I use black tape so I can see exactly where the lines are. <laughs> uh, not the best decision, but I will make it work. So that's about... Perfect, right, right there. So I'll come back with my microfiber towel. Obviously, I'll press down harder after I'm done with this video, but it's it's pretty much on there, man. This thing is solid. Now that I heated up this vinyl, that's probably, the vinyl's probably the, oh, nope, easy enough. So the vinyl's gonna peel right off. Just like plastic dip. Perfect. That's simple, guys. Um, 23 bucks. Okay, wow. It really was that easy. Um, Sorry, once again, poor lady. But uh, it really was that easy. I think it took 10 minutes, maybe. Would have been able to do it faster if I wasn't videoing. Um, but uh, I actually had pulled out my trim removal. Didn't even need that. This heat gun um, makes it makes it slice through like butter, the, the fishing line. And um, basically, <laughs> This is the, my, actually for my survival kit. Um, so I just double-sided the fishing line because as you saw earlier, it broke twice. 
so I double sided it um, and it was just like butter so uh, I'm done with that um, I'll probably peel off that Punisher sticker now and we will do uh, wow that looks good that's awesome uh, I'll probably peel off that Punisher sticker and put on this black this one actually is gonna be super simple too um, but this black is actually metal uh, stickers all ready to rock and roll in the back and that will complete the back side of that uh, but anyways guys I uh, appreciate you guys watching if you have any questions uh, please put them below don't forget to subscribe uh, I'll go ahead and put in the link for this black out version painted and for emblem like I said guys with shipping 23 bucks so I mean you can pay the 70 if you want um, might be you know we'll see how long this lasts but um, for 23 bucks I can't complain anyways guys thanks for watching have a great day all right so hopefully this is um, a better representation I uh, had to do it in the garage as it was raining um, so the lighting was pretty poor but um, like I said super simple guys I've um, maybe done two or three badges um, in my life so no way am I an expert or do I claim to be but that was super simple um, so there's the finished product mod bargains Get a better angle focus a little bit um, and then I went ahead and swapped out the, took off the Punisher sticker. Um, that came off uh, super simple with a little bit of heat. Peeled off, uh, cut through it like butter. Um, probably took me 30 seconds to get that sticker off. Um, and then went ahead and prepped and cleaned the surface for the Punisher emblem. Got that on Amazon as, as well. Metal, super hard. So right now I would say, besides my chrome tips, the back is complete um, to the way I want it. Um, the black BMW, carbon fiber. I wanted the actual carbon fiber M4, but uh, I couldn't find it, so this is what I could find for 23 bucks, so I did it. Um, and then my Punisher. A carbon fiber license plate holder and then I will switch out those chrome to black chrome tips um, and we'll call it uh, call it done uh, anyways thanks again guys